Hey, what's up, Journey Gang? Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here, hey, hello, my name is Life. On this channel, we help to bridge the gap between neuroscience and spirituality. We focus on how our minds work so we can create our own reality. Now, if that sounds like you get down, then you are in the right place. Hang out a while, subscribe if you feel in the vibe, and then, of course, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, all that good stuff to whichever videos actually resonate with you. In today's video, I just want to share something quickly with you guys. I saw a reel last week or maybe two ago from Tabitha Brown. You guys know I follow follow her pretty closely. She is one of my unspoken mentors because her story is just so amazing. Her story of manifesting a life she loves is just so cool. She's doing it and you can see it so clearly because she shares a lot of the things that are manifesting for her. A lot of people, when they find success, they start to hush up about how much money they're making or hush up about the things that are that are happening for them. And that's actually the opposite of how you want to help the rest of the world, right? So anyway, she was saying the other day on her reel, she said, your actions are not lining up with your vision. And that really has stuck with me for the past couple of weeks or whenever I saw that because I felt like she was talking directly to me. And I really realized that giving my all, all my time towards working for someone else is not what I, that does not align with my dreams. That's not helping me get to my visions and the things that I see happening for me. That's not helping me to manifest a life I love if I want to work for somebody else, even though I'm making really good money, right? The point of the story is to number one, know that there isn't anything you can't have in life. There isn't anything you can't do, right? But you have to be taking steps that actually align with your vision. The steps that you are taking, the actions that you're taking every day have to align with the vision that you say you want. Sometimes you got to make choices and sacrifices. I'm not saying, you know, quit your job or you know, that's not aiding you in your destiny. I'm not saying that per se. I'm saying to really look at the choices that you're making, to put yourself out there and really go for what you know, like go for the things that are going to make you happy. So I want to pose this question to you guys. What if today was one day? A lot of times we put off into the future what we're going to do, how we're going to act, who we're going to be. But what if today was one day? What if the things that you wanted to manifest just came today. How would you act? How would you move? Are you the person that is equal to those manifestations? That's how we manifest into our life. And that's what I'm realizing because a lot of times I notice I'm not treating today like it was one day. You have to do these things now. You have to do whatever it is now. So I want to encourage you guys to start taking the steps and start making your actions line up with your vision. So treat every day like it was one day. Act like today was one day. Make you a little list, get you a little notebook like this and really write down a list and say, okay, what would I be doing if today was one day? What would I be doing? How would I show up to the world? And then I want you to really put those things into practice because that is how you're gonna manifest the life you love. That's how you're gonna manifest those things into your life. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. I just want to encourage you guys to do the same. I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. I love you all for no reason at all. I'll see you next time.